Hey, what's up guys? Filterless here. BIOS 323 just dropped and with it we have 5, 6, and 7 gig options now. So we can go all the way from auto and then 1 through 8 gigs of VRAM. So that is going to be great. I'm definitely going to be testing out 5 and 6. I think one of those is going to be perfect for most people. And when you change the VRAM in the BIOS, Armory Crate hasn't been updated yet. So we just have the auto, the original settings. We don't have 5, 6, or 7 in here. I would imagine they're going to be updating Armory Crate sometime soon. So you can set in here but as you can see it's blank because we have it set at five so i'd imagine five six and seven gigs you're going to get this blank drop down right here because it can't be set it's not recognizing it all right and the other thing they added was allowing the screen to go from 25 nits minimum brightness to 10 and to give you a quick example, I've set the Steam Deck at the minimum brightness as well as the ROG Ally. And to my eyes, the ROG Ally is actually darker than what you're seeing here on the screen. But the camera doesn't really do it justice. It's trying to compensate because the room's kind of dark. It's definitely really dark. It obviously isn't as dark as the Steam Deck but it's still much better than it was before. Definitely playable in a very dark and I would say even pitch black room without being too annoying now. All right, so one of the other things they added, which might work for some people, however, in my case, it's not. I have this anchor dock and this is the original ROG Ally charger plugged in. And I'm going to plug this into the system and you'll see for me, it's going to sit at that 25 or not getting the 30. It doesn't automatically change the settings, which is really unfortunate because that's the one thing I was hoping would change. And I think for some people it will work, but with this dock and the original ROG Alley charger, I'm not getting the 30, so it won't auto switch even in manual. It will not switch to the unplugged profiles. It just stays on the ones that I have set for battery unless I plug the official charger directly into the device. So that's just me personally. I'm sure there's other people with higher watt chargers and docks where it is going to work with the new update. It's just not doing it for me. And jumping over to their actual update right here, you can see that 30 watt support when plugged into a 65 watt or higher you can see down here it says USB-C docks so mine is not allowing the 30 watt turbo like I showed you before however I'm sure there's a lot that will now we've got that minimum panel backlight that went from 25 nits down to 10 and it's very noticeable it's awesome that's a great thing they added and then on future BIOS updates when I did upgrade to 323 it did reset the GPU memory back to 4 gigs so now it will actually just keep it at the 5 or 6 or whatever I have set next time there's a BIOS update this is something I'm definitely gonna have to test right here optimize performance in performance mode when plugged in it seems like it wouldn't matter if you're plugged in or unplugged this is something I'm gonna have to look into and run some tests there to see if there's actually some improvements with the 15 watt mode hopefully there is that'd be great all right guys one last thing I did want to add is anyone wanting to change that VRAM I just want to put a quick tutorial out there to show you how to do it so you need to shut the device down fully and you need to make sure you're plugged in and once it's fully shut down you're going to hold the volume down button and keep this held down till you get to BIOS. The other thing we're gonna need to do is hold the power button till it turns on. So we push this power button and we see it turned on. So we can let go of power, but keep that volume down until you get into the BIOS here. All right, and once we're in the BIOS, you can see your BIOS version up here, some other information down here under advanced mode. We can just hit Y to go to that. We can navigate with the D-pad and we're gonna go over to advance. So you can see here, and then we just go down to the UMA frame buffer size. That's the same thing as the VRAM. And then you can select the option you would like to use. I'm personally going to be running five gigs, test a few things out with that. Also going to be testing out six and seven gigs. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This provides some value. Stay tuned for some new videos coming out in the near future. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like sub and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.